Hey guys, welcome to the Service Now Word, and today we'll see part 18 of scenario-based interview questions in Service Now. As you know, in this series, we are discussing about all the real-time scenarios, or I can say like scripting questions, which are given by interviewer during interview. So, without any delay, let's see today's question. So, today's question is that create a button incident count that count number of incidents assigned to an assignment group. Then create a new field assigned count and populate that count into it. Then third is that whenever incidents assignment group change, clear incident counts field value. And fourth one is also button will be visible only when assignment group is not empty. So I'll summarize for you like what we need to do. Like firstly we have to create a assigned count uh, that one field in incident form. Then after that we have to create a button that is incident count. On click of that button, what we need to do, like we have to uh, populate that count, like uh, whichever, like for the particular assignment group, for the particular assignment group, how many different, uh, how many different incident got opened. Okay, so that we have to count those number of incidents and populate that count into the assigned count field value. Okay, and also whenever like assignment group got changed, we have to clear the incident incident count field value. And fourth condition is that like uh, when the button only visible well the whatever the button will create that incident count button that that will be visible only when the assignment group is not empty okay if assignment group is empty we don't have to make them visible okay so let's go to the uh, instance and try to implement it and one thing is that like before implementing this task i want i want you to pause this video and try to implement this uh, uh, solution in instance from your own and try to uh, try to find it like whether are you able to achieve this scenario or not by your own if not then i will suggest you to see the video further Be because like uh, if you see right now uh, if you see continuously if you don't practice then you won't learn right so that's my suggestion only okay so let's go to the instance and try to implement it so now if you see like uh, we are in a uh, in our pdi okay so firstly what we'll do let's open one incident form okay yes so if you see here like currently we have opened one incident form and what we need to do we have to create a new field that show the count on click of that button right so we have to create a field the field name will be the assigned count so let's create it so i just go to the configure then go to the form layout and here the name type type assigned count okay and select the type it's integer okay and then click on add so if you see here now the assigned count of a new field got added okay so i'll just put it below the assignment group okay so now now if you see like uh, assigned count but uh, assigned count like field got created where we'll show the uh, number of incident assigned to this assignment group okay so what we'll do we'll make this field read only okay so i'll just right click here and click on configure dictionary i, I, I just want to make this field read only from the di dictionary level okay so what i'll do i'll just here check read only and update it click on update yes so now if you see like a signed count of our field is coming as read only okay because we, we don't want anyone to alter this field now the second thing is that like we have to create a button okay so i'll just open one duplicate tab here and now in the banner i'll right click then i click on configure then i'll go to the ui action and click on it and now here just click on new so now for creating a new button like a new ui new uh, ui action record uh, new ui action form got opened 
okay so i'll just put the name so that will be the name of the button will be the incident count okay and i'll just put the action name so action name is nothing is like a backend name of the button okay so that will be like incident underscore count and i want to show as a form button and uh, I, I i don't want to show on a insertion so i'll just uncheck this one okay now we have to come down and there the condition the condition is that like uh, whenever the uh, assignment group is empty we don't want to make this uh, button visible right so i'll just put the condition current dot assignment group so let's check what is the backend field name of assignment group so that is assignment underscore group so i'll just copy from here and i'll just paste it then not equal to empty okay yes now after that if those are like double single quotes okay not a single double quotes so just mind this thing as well okay now we have put the conditions now uh, like uh, we have like we have created the field till now we have created the field that is assigned count we have make them as read only now we have created a new button uh, new action and uh, now we have to put the condition as well right like uh, this button will be visible only when assignment group is not empty okay now we have to write the logic logic is that like uh, how we have to show the count right so and how how we can populate it so for that we'll use the glide aggregate api for um, for populating the count okay so like that ga equal to new glide aggregate and inside that we'll pass the table name incident and then what we want to do so glide aggregate having the inbuilt method is there so that is called count so we'll call call that so i'll just write ga dot add aggregate count then we have to pass some condition like ga dot add query so that will be assignment group so I'll, for the time saving purpose i'm just copying from here assignment group current dot assignment group okay now i'll just execute this query uh, then Uh, whatever the result is there i'll store in our uh, newly created field so like current dot u wait let me copy the our backend name of new created field value that is assigned count so i'll right click here click on show count copy the field name and i'll just paste it here and write ga dot get aggregate count so it will give me the count of number of incident from the same assignment group and store in the assigned uh, assigned count field okay now after that i want to after assigning i need to update the current field uh, current of form as well so i'll just write current dot update and then after that I want to stay on the same page, so I'll just write action dot set redirect URL. That's it, and I think we are good to go. Right? I'll just save this one, and then we can test it out. Okay. So now we are here. Just refresh it this this one so currently if you see like incident count button is not visible because why because the assignment group is empty okay so what i'll do 
I'll just put some group here. So let's say what groups are available. Let's say this one. Let's say application development group. Okay. And I'll just save it. And after save, let's see whether our button will get visible or not. So if you now you notice like incident count uh, button is visible. So if I'll click on it, we'll get the count. So we are getting currently uh, one uh, one incident for this uh, uh, application development group. So let's validate from the here here as well. So a file group if i'll refresh this page firstly refresh this so we have this incident list okay so what i'll do i'll group it on the based of group by assignment group and now if you see like only one incident is there for application development group so that's why it's showing like that but uh, one thing is that there one more condition is that right so let's say if someone someone change change the value of the assignment group okay in that case let's say like i put something else like uh, hardware okay and if i update this one i want to clear this assigned count value because maybe the hardware number is different right you see the hardware number is nine right so we we, we have to clear it we have to clear this field value right so that that is also kind of a condition so for clearing the field value what we'll do we'll write a on change client script so i'll just open one duplicate tab again and then right click on banner then go to the configure then go to the client script and here click on new and put the name clear assign count field okay select the ui type all type is on change and here we have to call our method that g underscore form dot clear value clear value of his field assigned count I'll just save it. Let's refresh this form incident form again. And now if I change it to something else, let's say application development group only. So looks like it's not working, right? So let's see why it's not working. Because if you see here in client script, we haven't selected the field name on change of which field we have to clear the field value so on change of assignment group let's refresh this incident form again now i'm again changing to the hardware and now you see that like assigned count field value got cleared so that is our fourth requirement right so uh, let's recap uh, all the functionality once again firstly we have created the field assigned count we have make them read only then what we have did we have created a new button using the ui action they will put the name as incident count then put the action name that is backend name of a ui action that is incident underscore count then we want to save show them only on update not on insertion of records then that's why we have checked the uncheck this so insert then we want to show as a form button that's why check check uh, form button option then if you see the condition condition is that like uh, if the assignment group is empty we don't want to make this button visible so that's why i i put this condition like current dot assignment group not equal to empty okay then if you see here like simple we have used the glide aggregate and there we call the method count they put the uh, condition like uh, assignment group is same as the current record assignment group okay and then we are getting the count then assigning that count into u underscore assigned count field value then updating the current record with the 
count fade value right and then we have uh, write the action dot set redirect url because we want to stay on the same page we don't want to go on the previous screen so i think you got it and if you still have any doubts uh, please write in the comment box i'll answer it answer it till that time thank you god bless you all